Okay, I'm going to be bringing this video to you folks. Uh, this is what, when I was on Mary's Peak yesterday, the other day, well, two days ago now. And I was driving around on these other road systems looking for some cut banks so I could find some stuff. And I ran across this right here. I, this could be a tendon ball. Um, I'm just not sure. I, it's absolutely biological, I know that much. And you'll see in this video where all this points to the center and even where you have... Um, uh, this in here, you'll have these, uh, you're going to be seeing quartz veins along each side going to the center like that. That was some kind of liquid, biological liquid that hardened, crystallized into what they're calling quartz. Uh, this stuff is right below the stuff that isn't crystallized, that he was calling pillow basalt and stuff that's not pillow basalt. I did a video just prior to this one, it's going to be linked to it. But come up here, you'll be able to see this, and this, I believe this may be a tendon ball. Okay? So, anyway, you're going to see it in this video. It's not very long. Hope you enjoy, and catch you later. Thanks. Okay, in this video, I'm going to throw a link in to concretions, pics of concretions, and you'll be able to come up here and look, because geology has all concretions, which are they think is geological, all thrown together. Uh, this one here is biological. Those are biological. That's biological. That's biological. That's biological. Uh, those are biological. you got some here that are geological which are smaller these these right here these little marbles are geological there's some concretions in here where you'll find a clam shell or something like that in them and those are a geological process but a lot of this stuff that they're calling uh, like this one right here that is biological and so is this tendon bulb which I believe it is that I'm bringing to you in this video uh, a lot of this stuff is uh, biological it is not geological at all this one right here that is biological that is not a geological concretion okay so there is a difference between an interstitium ball which is biological a tendon ball which is biological and then a geological concretion which is separate from the biological balls that I've been showing you all right hope that makes sense and I will leave a link to this and you can come up and look at all these round spheres what they call concretions and they think they're all geological and that is not true all right hope that helps uh, i went driving around looking for some cut banks below where i just showed where that pillow basalt was and look at this here i don't think it was a tendon ball i'm not sure what is but remember how it goes into a center core like i've showed you before those things are all pointing into a center core. See that? And then you got this, uh, you got quartzite in here. This is the pressure I should have been finding. Oh, this is soft though. This ain't. See these veins in here? See, we should have found all of this in that stuff on top that he was calling basalt, pillow basalt, but we weren't finding any. And this is biology too. They don't understand, you know, the stuff they're calling 22, 42, 56 million years old. All the stuff they're calling millions and millions and millions of years old, that's the stuff that's carcass. There's a lot of volcanology mixed in with the stuff nowadays. But look at how those are all going towards the center too, those veins. See that? They're all pointing towards the center. See that? Put up in here. They're all going towards that center piece. The top two. <laughs> I don't know if this was a tendon ball. It could be interstitium. I don't know. But this was definitely like those giant ones I showed you up on top. He was calling pillow. And these here are um, what's that one? Probably 12, 15 feet up, up across. And they're the ones I showed you up on top. They're 8 foot, 10 foot, something like that. Look how big this one is. Alright. The edge of it over here. 